Okay, so I'm here with Kelly Voluntarist and Ian Freeman. We are out to lunch after a trial with um, Dick Foote and some of the other heavies who were in attendance today at court. And I have some questions for Kelly, so let's go. So, first question for you, Kelly, was your outfit at all part of your strategy? Um, no. <laughs> no? No. How about for you, Ian? No, definitely not. <laughs> you should have unbuttoned a couple buttons there, Ian. Yeah. Maybe you like <laughs> uh, How long did you have to prepare, Kelly? How long did I, how long have I prepared, or how long did they give me to prepare? Yeah, how long did you have? How long have I prepared? I've prepared, I've done uh, extensive research regarding this case. And uh, what was the outcome today? Uh, the outcome was that uh, we have a hearing on uh, Wednesday, November 14th, and that hearing is to determine uh, the validity of the no trespass orders that we were served. Okay. Did uh, today's outcome surprise you at all? No. What's next for you? Well, I would like to uh, continue with uh, with uh, the with the challenging the uh, no trespass orders, which I believe to be illegal, unconstitutional, and invalid. And I also plan to uh, sue in civil court. What's your ideal outcome? Uh, the, uh, the ideal outcome would be to have the no trespass orders uh, dismissed. Hey. The bailiffs are here. All right. My ideal outcome would be to have the no trespass orders overturned, and as, as also to um, hold Dick Foot responsible for writing us these illegal orders, and to um, to hold him responsible. And that was just. Do you want to tell us who just walked in? Oh, that was Lance, and I don't know the other gentleman's name, but they are both bailiffs over at the uh, district court. Okay, and what was the uh, reception? Uh, if, if the folks at home who are watching this video weren't able to see, uh, what, what happened when they came in? Everybody turned around and looked at him. Okay. And uh, so what would you like to ask Dick Foot? Uh, first off, I would like to ask Dick Foot, you know, if, if I can just call him Dick. And I would also like to, uh, I, I actually have a whole stack of questions for Dick. And I can, uh, let's see, excuse me, these ones are Ian's questions for Dick, which of course began with, can I call you Dick? Um, which ones of these were uh, specifically important? Uh, well, I mean, there's the general questions about whether he ever swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, because, um, you know, maybe he didn't. Uh, and then, you should ask him if he's read it. There's that, yeah. That's yeah, a good one. if he's read the Constitution. Is it your opinion that singing is not peaceful? Because, you know, that's what we were doing at the courthouse was singing Christmas carols, anti drug yeah. Christmas carols. Uh, is it your opinion that peacefully singing on public property is not constitutionally protected? Is it your opinion that recording government workers is not peaceful? Is it your opinion that asking questions of government workers is not accountable? I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that uh, are public officials uh, not to be held accountable by uh, having questions asked of them in public spaces? Is maybe. That something along that line? And then another one, this one was one that the attorney is actually going to ask him, uh, is did any judicial officers order you to issue the no trespass order? So to find out when he's on under oath, you know, did you do this on your own volition or was it some man in a robe or, you know, somebody in the courthouse who put you up to it? Right. Um, and if he did, if uh, if they didn't order him to do that, how did, uh, how did the order originate? And then asking him if it's a valid no trespass notice and if he knows what the valid or what the elements are of a valid trespass notice. And if he doesn't know what the elements of a valid trespass notice notice are then motion to dismiss you know this witness is incompetent to testify beautiful um, are there any other questions a bunch
Uh, but that's a that's a great preview for the uh, folks at home and perhaps Dick, if he's if he's listening, get ready. These are the questions you're going to face. Here's one that uh, I really wanted to know. Now, because I have an attorney, I don't get to ask these questions. So, like all the preparation I did for this before I got the attorney on board, I don't get to go through any of it. So that's why I handed these to Kelly, um, and she's she's actually yet to decide whether or not she wants to uh, use the attorney services as well. Uh, but another important question is, to your knowledge, have I ever been charged with or convicted of harassment because on the trespass order that we've all been given uh, everyone at this table except Mark Gordon here uh, it says we're given the order due to persistent harassment so that's what I'd like to know have I ever been charged or convicted with harassment and how if I haven't and I haven't how can you bar me from accessing the judiciary by accusing me of something I've never been convicted of doing? So, if it, you know, if they charged me with harassment and convicted me of harassment, then it would make sense to give a no trespass order and say, well, you're guilty of harassment, so therefore you can't come here and harass anybody. But we've never been charged with that. That's not the case. And, uh, I wanted to ask him if the if the if the persistent harassment, which he was referring to in the no trespass order, was the same. Persistent harassment as is as, as referred to in RSA 644. Because if it was, the, what's that? What's 644? That's, uh, that's the statute uh, of New Hampshire uh, regarding harassment. And if it is not the same harassment, or if it is the same harassment, why were we not arrested for the harassment? And if it's not the same harassment, then that would mean that these trespass orders are both vague and overbroad because it doesn't even give any sort of definition of what this persistent harassment is that he's trying to have stopped. I totally agree. And Ian may mention that uh, everyone at this table has a no trespass order. That's true. Kate is sitting beside me. She was uh, served with a no trespass order. And she, I believe wasn't even singing uh, during the plus during Bo, the time. plus Grant Freeman <laughs> and, um, and somebody else yeah. Pete, Pete, Pete Pete who also wasn't singing oh, I get in and uh, Mark Warden is safe however he has not been served with the no trust we have all so been, uh, we've all been deprived of our rights under color of law well thanks so much for answering these questions today guys I'm sure a lot of the folks at home who weren't able to make the trial um, are going to be delighted to hear you know your answers to these questions and uh, look forward to the trial that's upcoming so thank you so much is there anything else you wanted to add here's another one is all singing harassing is another question <laughs> followed up with had we been singing the Star Spangled Banner would that have been considered harassing <laughs> what an interesting question I'll leave it at that